How to replace a screen on a Toshiba satellite, model C655D-S5300. The computer shut down, you're going to close it real quick, flip it over, and you're going to see two clips holding in the battery. You're going to push them aside, slide the battery out, just to make sure that you don't have any problems. With the battery safely removed, you're going to now work on the four screws on the front of the screen. Be careful, they're kind of small and you don't want to lose them. Okay. With the four screws removed, your next step is to remove the little plastic cover that surrounds the screen. This is where I say the pick is a little handy, kind of gets in between the crevice and helps you pry the plastic. Be careful though, you don't want to break it. Just kind of work your way around, you'll hear them unclip. And the next step, the pick comes in handy, is over the hinge mount. This little cover, it, it, it kind of covers the hinge pretty good, so you're going to use the pick to help you pick up the little plastic cover. Alright. The next step, there's three screws on each side of the screen. They're little, you'll see one right there at the top. You're going to remove three on each side of the monitor and I'll show you how to do that next. And we'll get to work on this. Again, these screws are quite small so be careful when you're removing them. With your screen gently unscrewed, you're going to kind of lower it down onto the keyboard. Now you only have to do one thing before you replace it, and that's to remove the wire that hooks the computer to the screen. A little bit of tape, you kind of undo the tape and slide the little electrical connection out. Now the screen is free and it's ready to be replaced. With the new screen in hand, before you lay it face down onto the keyboard, you're going to want to make sure you have some sort of protective coating so you don't scratch the screen. Luckily, this screen came with a little plastic, piece of, a piece of plastic, so we won't scratch it. I'm going to lay it face down, take the electrical connection, and plug it in to the new monitor. Be careful, the wires are very small. and we put on tape. Just as an extra safety precaution, that tape didn't feel like sticking, so I'm going to grab a piece of scotch tape and use it in its place. Take the monitor, put it back in the clips, and you're ready to restall it. Well, now that the electrical connections are all taken care of on the new screen, we're going to screw this back in. 
just remember to remove that piece of plastic so it, you know you get a good picture And the last one. All the real hard stuff out of the way, it's time to put the uh, screen kind of a uh, trim cover back on. Again, you're going to want to lean it back as far as it'll go. Be gentle on popping the hinge covers back on. Again, I like to use the pick for this, just makes it a little bit easier. Maybe it's just because of my big hands. And you're going to go around the screen and, and just make sure it clips back together. Probably hear that as it's moving around the screen. Be gentle though, you don't want to break anything on the new screen. And we'll take the four screws that you pulled out of the cover and put those back in. And the last screw on the front. Now it's time to see if all our hard work paid off and if things are working correctly. And slide the battery back in. Make sure the clips are in the lock position. the laptop and let's hit the power button. Well everything's looking good. We'll just get you that last shot of the uh, home screen and uh, everything should be good. Sure beats buying a new laptop. And thanks for watching.